Brew on this. What do you do to get rid of stress in your life? Do you simply smile? And a whole bunch of responses. And then, of course, we've got one mad lad. That tells the truth. I touch myself vigorously. (laughs) I mean, that does release a lot of stress. And I'm not sure it's the healthiest way to do it. But it works. What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy, Long Nail, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash madlads. Let's get into it. You still haven't done your taxes? No judgment. You're putting off filing because, uh, I'm committing tax fraud. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Uh, I mean, it depends on how much it is. If it's not too much, what are the chances that you'll get caught? I mean, pretty slim. So it's worth a shot, right? No, I'm just kidding, guys. Obviously, don't do that. I'm going to post binary and non-binary. How dare you? (laughs) I'm offended. Can somebody translate this for me? Uh, Because I have no idea what this means. Eight-year-old calls out NPR for lack of dinosaur stories. My name's Leo, and I'm eight years old. I listen to all things considered in the car with mom. I listen a lot. I never hear much about nature or dinosaurs or things like that. Maybe you should call your show Newsy Things Considered, since I don't get to hear about all the things. Or please, talk more about dinosaurs and cool things. Sincerely, Leo. Yeah, we've all felt this way at some point in time. It's like, you like a show, and then they stop covering what you liked about the show, and you're like, hey man, uh, what's going on here? I used to like this show a lot, and you switch it up on me. What's your show that just kind of fell off after a couple of seasons? Drop it in the comments down below. There is plenty of them. My wife ordered just some jerky and almond milk from Walmart, and the box came with a whole air fryer heater and other stuff. Bozo sent the wrong box. A $100 air fryer for the price of a bag of beef jerky? Oh no, can you please send us your order number and contact information so we can take a look? Thank you. And then he responds, yeah, no, I don't think I will. Smart man, is if he wanted to keep the stuff. Because, you know, the second he gave them that info, here comes Walmart knocking on his door. Hey, give us our stuff back. And now he can't deny it because he posted it for everybody else. So, job well done, I guess, kind of. If this is cool with your morals, which it probably is. Hi, David. I wanted to reach out to you following this morning's class. I really appreciated your contributions to our discussion but felt that I should follow up with you. I noticed that during class, you appeared to consume an entire chocolate cake. Normally, I would never be one to police my students' eating habits, but I reviewed the recording, and you finished the whole thing in 43 seconds. I'm pretty sure I watched you unhinge your jaw like some kind of snake. Is everything going okay at home? Is your jaw okay? Please, let me know if I can be of any support. I mean, you could send me another chocolate cake. Basically, that, that's the only way you can respond to this after your professor watched you scarf down that cake. And the crazy thing here is, did this person willingly do that on camera? Or did they think their camera was off and this is a super embarrassing email to get? Or did they know it was on? And they're like, yeah, you know what I did. And you best believe I'm doing it again. Holy duck. And the Mr. Duck responds, you called? Duck Destroyer, I've been training years for this very moment. Mm, I don't know. I think we're going to have to have somebody validate this one because you could have seen this, saw an opportunity, and made an account. But if this is years old and you really haven't posted much, ooh, wow, just wow. Job well done. Grandma said, look, and she had cut my ex out of old pics. I put it in the trash can, as she should. This is a great grandma that we all need in our lives. You know, you're trying to cut that toxic person out of your life, and grandma's just there to help you get through it all, because that's what grandmas are for. Can't be serious for more than a second. We don't take you seriously anyways. Oh, man, that's got to suck. You post this thinking you're being all quirky and cool, and then you get a whole bunch of responses just like, oh, yeah, by the way, uh, we don't care really if you're serious or not. We're just looking at you because you're hot. 
Yeah. I mean, I feel like most chicks that post that are Instagram models know this, but I don't know. It still feels a little bit off. Guy joined Zoom class shirtless, and the tutor told him to just turn his video off. And so he did. And it just displayed his profile pic of him shirtless at the beach. Yep, I consider this a big dub because he followed rules. And now what are you going to tell him? Oh, you can't have that either. Well, geez, I mean, I've tried everything. I, I, I had myself. I put a background. And then, you know, it's like, oh, man, I really, I exhausted all options. This is the only picture I have. I, I don't know what else I can do. Yep, I can already see where this is going. This is a power struggle, and it's going to be completely unnecessary just because, I don't know, one side always has to feel like they're victorious, especially in school with the student-teacher relationships. We all have been there, or we've at least seen it go there, where it's like, you know what, I could do what you're saying, but I really don't want to because I feel like it's a bit ridiculous. Happens with teachers, parents, basically any authority figure. Lost iPod Touch, $50 reward. Call Carolyn. And then this. Lost iPod Touch, $51 reward. Call me. Oh, uh, but hear me out here. What if Carolyn is actually the one that's being a mad lad here? And this other sign was posted and she's like, oh, I'll just lowball him. And if I throw my name on there, it'll look more legit than his. But... But what if the other guy did the same thing? Oh, gosh. This is, see, this is a predicament. Now I just have to keep the phone. Sorry, guys, but I can't figure it out. So I'm taking it to the pawn shop. <laughs> All right, Modern Chodes, that's it for the hot posts from r slash mad lads. Oh, took me a while to think of that one. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. And if you want to help support the channel for free, anytime you have any shopping to do on Amazon, just click the link in the description down below. Do your shopping as regular. It won't cost you anything extra. And it'll help support the channel. So I'd really appreciate it. Till next time. Ooh, this is an awkwardly long wait. You waiting for it? Mm, I bet there's only about 5% of you that actually make it this far into my videos. Probably already clicked on something else. But if you're still here, I don't know if I'm going to give you that satisfaction of a proper let go. Or should I? I don't know. Eh, I kind of feel bad at this point. Hey. Did you fast forward? Go rewind. That's not fair. Hey, stop fast forwarding. It's not fair. All right. If you didn't fast forward, this is for you. And if you did, just know I'm truly, truly saddened by your actions. Till next time. <laughs> gotcha. Peace.